to the show. My name's Ellie Desai and you're watching On The Trend. Today I'm with a painter, Steffi Karich, yes. from Long Beach, California. And today she announced the opening of your first online store. Yes, oh my God, I've, I've been planning this for months. I've been working on it for a long time. So we both graduated from UCLA 2018. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? It kind of all picked up when I was making, thinking of my outfits for Coachella one year. And okay. I was like, you know, everyone has these same outfits. I've seen it all before, I've done it all before. I'm also flat broke. What can I do <laughs> to like make myself look cool? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some spray paint. I'm gonna get some stencils. And I'm just gonna spray paint whatever I want on a t-shirt. And that kind of just started me thinking like, I want to make something. I just can. What's stopping me? You know, like, why not me? Why not I be the person to put art all over my walls? Yeah. Even if I feel like I'm not a legit artist sometimes, I was like, hey, let's, let's give this a shot. So when someone hits you up and they say, Steffi, love Art Factory, love 69. I would love to know how <laughs> how I get my own original piece. Yeah. What's the first question you ask them? Probably how big sizing. From there, we generally jump to you know, colors and a lot of people come in with ideas already. So it's very collaborative. Yes. Or sometimes very hands off. Yes, it's a lot about connection and in a way giving people a medium to express themselves when maybe they're not that artistic. And it's like taking what people have in their head and putting it on like a piece of wood or a piece of art for them is just like a really, I don't know, ingratiating experience. Like yeah. I, I really enjoy that. I know you can't predict the poor, mm -hmm. but how do you control what you're gonna see? So it's all about how much variation you get in the layering. I personally enjoy putting the lightest color on the bottom. I just think it's a good base to have. I find myself buying a lot of the same colors. I'll like look in my like almost empties. I'm like, oh crap, I already have 10 of those. But, like, <laughs> it's yeah. like buying spices for your kitchen. Exactly. Like, like why oh, do I have three red From like pepper. different brands. Yeah. They're like slightly different. <laughs> how did like, I guess your process, how did that come out? It transitioned from, like I said, I used to use a lot of like markers to make definitive lines and I loved that. But then one day I tried doing paint pouring just like as a fun activity with a friend and I really liked it. And I thought like, wow, like there's no other way you can get these like psychedelic looking amazing yes. combinations. And then I was like, hey, how about I combine this kind of fun and paint pour activity and start like taping stuff off and start spray painting over it and see if I can get in addition to this really cool psychedelic thing, make it even cooler, make it even more amusing for the eye, make it more playful. I really appreciate things that are realistic looking, you know, but not quite real. So I'm not totally into the like the hyper realist style that a lot of people get caught up on just like super accurate painting. Like you're never gonna do fine art. No, exactly. Yeah. Cause I want an element of fantasy. I want an element of that's not possible, yep. you know? Cause I want to see something that I could never see in real life. So I'm going to go first with the pour. This size cup is perfect for like a little canvas like this. This is what I use to pour on my like two by two. Compared to this, that's huge. Exactly. Like the Fat Tuesday from Vegas cup. I <laughs> love the use of get. Oh, also where is the chainsaw? Chainsaw, oh my God. So the wood saw is, it is at my friend Paige's house. Okay. Again, so many things have just happened by happenstance. I always used to do either a two by four size or there's a nice two by two at Lowe's. Her roommate Austin texted me and was like, hey, I got this wood saw, I'm dying to use it. And you have your paintings. Yeah. How do you feel about like coming over and like I get to try like cutting some different shapes for you. And that has totally revolutionized my art. So then I'm gonna take my little canvas, smack it on there. And we're gonna pour hold by the edges. And it's gonna get all over your hands, so prepare. Yeah. And then I just like to hold this up over there. And like if there's any section that I'm really feeling, I'm gonna make sure to move it in a way that like it stays. And these cool little paint bubbles will come out. So and this is what a finished pour would look like. Stubby, this is amazing! Yes. It's so fun to do, and you're about to do it too. It's starting to pick up, have kind of a life of its own. Exactly, exactly. And I wanted to take off in the direction of branding and collaboration with other artists because I, I wanted to get out there. I wanted to get out to the world and I love making commissions for people and making something that people have in their own home and cherish individually. But, you know, I want to make things as accessible and, you know, like viewable by people as I can. All right, so I just pour into the cup. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the expert to come back. I'm gonna wait for the head of Art Factory to return. I'm getting water sunset vibes. Like that's okay. what's speaking to me right okay. now. Pink, yellow, purple, red. Okay, let's see. Wiggle with it. You can do whatever, I guess. You can pour it like along the sides. You are more skilled than I am, but Don't I be afraid to keep get going, messy. keep going. Don't be afraid to get messy with it. I would just do two more colors probably. Like keep layering. The more layers, the cooler it'll turn out. The inside of my cup. Okay, so you're gonna hold this on the top. Hold it firmly against it. Yep. I'm gonna just flip it on over. Keep holding it, perfect. And then I'm gonna move this slightly as I take it off towards the right, because that's where our colors will show. And then just hold it above if you want some cool little 
Beautiful. Oh my Wait, this is sick. How amazing. So Art Factory by Steffi. What is, is that gonna have a team? Is there a studio? Like physically, what do you see? When you dream. Yes, I definitely see just me. Okay. Maybe it's the Virgo in me. I love having control over things. I love doing things myself. I you can get a little bossy, yeah. get a little hands off. So no team. I definitely want to have at least a room and a house going for that is just de dedicated to my studio space. And you also are donating some proceeds of your commission work to a few organizations. Yes. The Ron Finley guy. Yes. Amazing. It's just all about making community gardens and teaching people to nourish themselves when they live in food deserts. And you know, as a vegan who loves to cook, who loves to eat, who is passionate about LA as a community, yeah. I think amazing cause to, to give to. Beam. Beam, yes, yes. So it's Black Mental Health Ad Advocacy in Los Angeles. Again, I wanna keep things local generally. I'm super passionate about the mental health field. It's like my other, I guess, baby, my other hobby. I volunteer at a suicide hotline and oh. a uh, center for sexually abused children. Whoa. So yeah. LA local. Yes, yes. Third organization you donate to is ETFA. Black Trans Femmes in the Arts. They yes. have, I watched their um, hero reel. It's so cool. Amazing. It's yes. so cool. Exactly. Black trans women are one of the most in danger communities. So I think it's just important to share their journey, share their voice, let them express themselves through art and yeah, just support, support their dreams. Because I mean, they have such amazing, unique, beautiful stories to tell. We're building community, we're connecting people. It's all about self-expression. Yes. Steffi, thank you so much for bringing me into your world today. I had an incredible time. I love learning more about you. I love seeing the work in person. You launched a store today. I did. That's the biggest call to action. So this, yes. is, this is Steffi. She is the art factory. She now has an online store where you can purchase all of her art and also hire her to make commission work. Yes. It is on Etsy. Um, links will be- In the description. Yes, and on the art factory Instagram and literally anywhere you see me, you will see a link. So- Art factory is open for business now. Yes, just in time for Christmas. Yeah, just- Oh my God. Uh -huh. Okay, Steffi is coming in clutch. Perfect time for the holidays. Have you been, are you sitting at home? You're wondering, what am I gonna get my family? They're still across the country quarantined. Yep, I ship everywhere. A couple of things I'm gonna have in my shop. Love this, for example. It is a frame I picked up at a thrift store. Yeah. So, and just kind of repurposed, upcycled. Um, again, the use of stencil and you know spray paint along with the acrylic pour. And some common themes you're gonna find. Of course, abstract, um, a little bit of floral elements. And I personally love, so weird, I think hands are amazingly cool. Okay. So you'll find a lot of hands in my art. I have a tattoo of hands. I literally think hands are beautiful. So a lot of, a lot of cool things, a lot of play on words for titles. I, I think it's gonna be a really fun, cool store to peruse and to buy from. If you wanna see more, you gotta go to the website. Yes. You yes. gotta check out Art Factory 69. Yes, there's gonna be some of your favorite stencils from past work and some new ones I made just for the store. So. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. This has been On The Trends season two. Visit elliedesai.com to learn more about the show. Subscribe and see new episodes every single week. Steffi, so great having you today. In the comments down below, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Please go visit her websites and we'll see you later. Bye. Wait, so when's your birthday? September 3rd. You just turned 24. I did. Happy birthday. How you belated? You. Yeah, it is quite belated. Quite point, belated. <laughs> but close enough. I mean, in that case, happy birthday belated to you as well. Thanks, at some I appreciate point. it. Um, yes. No, I really appreciate it. Gotcha. Um, I'm clean and safe. And I'm clean and safe. Okay, great. So. Both clean and safe. Um, we're about to get messy and make some commissioned art. <laughs> but disease wise, we are solid. <laughs> disease wise, we're clean and safe. Art wise, we're about to get messy.